Hey, it's Mark Podolsky at The Land Geek with your favorite niche real estate website, thelandgeek.com. And on this week's Roundtable podcast, we have almost all the usual suspects. We got the Zen master, breathe in the mailing, breathe out the marketing, Mike Zano. Michael, you're looking fit. How are you? Feeling fit. Thank you. You know, uh, I don't know. So I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm down here in Florida, moving our daughter into college and just chilling. So that's pretty cool. How exciting. Exciting times. We've got the technician, Eric Peterson, Franklin, Tennessee. Eric, how are you? I'm well, thank you. It's good to see you. I love it when you call me Big Papa, Tate Litchfield. Tate, how are things in Sin City? It's good, man. We are doing well. Life is busy and uh, it's a good time to be a land investor. It's good to see you. Last but not least, you know him, you love him. The brain, the professor, your flight school Sherpa. Scott Todd of scotttodd.net, landmoto.com. Learn anything about anything, investorninjas.com. Scott Todd, how are you? Mark, I'm great. How are you? I have COVID, as you can probably hear my voice. Yeah. I mean, like, do you know how you got it? I do know how I got it. I think that's going to be our roundtable discussion. All right. That's Live so boot camp in San Antonio. What were our biggest takeaways? Mine was a horrible virus. But Mike Zeno, what was your biggest takeaway? <laughs> it was not the horrible virus. Uh, my big one was like, I miss getting together. Like it's been, it was a year, like literally a year since we all came together. And although I'll tell you, the virtual boot camps are amazing. There's, you know, the, the ability to attend and, uh, and uh, you know, just wear a dress shirt and wear any kind of shorts or whatever you want, and 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 just relax. That's nice, and all the information. But the networking, the face to face, uh, meeting people. I, I think to me that is that too simple, Mark. I, I enjoyed meeting everybody and seeing them in person. I've been talking to these people for a year, and finally meeting face to face. Yeah. See, I'm not. I'm not real like uh, judgy, like let's say a Scott Todd, where he's going to look at your answer and be like, yeah. Too simple, Mike. No, I think that's a great answer. So not right. not too simple for me at all. Scott's not even, he's not even responding. Like at, at some point I thought I'd get an eye roll out of it. I mean, look, I, I for a second, I thought that Mike said that he enjoyed getting together and wearing a dress, but I know that's not what I heard. <laughs> what? But like for a second, I'm like, did I miss that? That's because Mike is hanging out with Dennis Rodman in Florida. And that's where you're. Uh, I did going. have a. I did have a cigar with him. Yeah. I did have a, and I look, did. Mike had to sit down with Dennis Rodman. Next thing you know, Dennis Rodman is off to Russia to to free the WNBA player. Coincidence? I don't think I so. May, I may have. I may have put the bug in his ear. You know. <laughs> this this Mike, is the Mike power. Also has the green hair master. today. Too much time in the water. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, before this thing devolves, let's go to the technician, Eric Peterson. Eric, what was your biggest takeaway from San Antonio boot camp? Um, well, first, I guess let me say San Antonio, the hotel we go to there, it's always one of my favorites. I really enjoy going to that hotel. There's a lot of history there. So that aspect is always fun. What's not fun is waking up at 3 a.m. every morning with someone screaming down on the street. But <laughs> nonetheless, we'll get through it. Um, takeaways from boot camp. I think that, uh, you know, it's always good to get together and see everybody, um, see the coaching students that, that we've been talking to on Zoom for, you know, months and months and, and never met them in person to, to shake their hand and and look at them eye to eye. You know, that's, that's a great thing. Um, I think, you know, generally speaking, uh, um, you know, I, I did spend a fair amount of time in the VIP room. I think it was a really, really solid VIP room. I I saw our students in there working. Um, you know, they were listening to the lectures that were given. They were applying that and actually putting in the work in addition to, to networking with each other. I know they went out to dinner on, you know, multiple nights and, and did other things together. So, um, you know, the fact that they're out there building community, they're networking together, um, all of those things are, are really powerful as they continue to grow their businesses. 
Yeah, absolutely. And uh, there's this great quote by Tony Robbins, proximity has power. And when you have, when you're in that room, that VIP room and, and everyone's, you know, at this higher level, um, it has power. And the fact that everyone has this abundance mentality, it wants to help everybody um, and taking that, that knowledge that you and, and uh, you know, Tate and Scott and Tari are sharing and then being able to apply it and have everybody work together on it is, is a really powerful combination. And, um, you know, not to shamelessly plug, plug the coaching program, but I'll shamelessly plug it. You know, you've got to be in coaching to be in that VIP room. And uh, as Scott Todd likes to quote, you want to be in the room where it happens. So, um, and that is, you know, a very popular Hamilton song as well. So it sort of checks off all the boxes. Anyways, I digress. Tay Litchfield, I love when you call me Big Papa. What was your big aha moment from boot camp? Well, I'm surprised Eric's aha moment was, or his takeaway was, was earplugs. Like, dude, come on. You got to travel with that. You should know better by now. San Antonio, that place is wild. But, um, you know, I had a lot of aha moments. Um, like Eric, it was really fun to link up with members of the community and brainstorm and have that ability to problem solve in the flesh, right? I, I really enjoy that. I think it's, really unique about uh, our community is that we are all there with pretty much the same goal, but we're willing to help others in order to get to where we all want to be. And so that's, that's really unique. And it's really interesting. I've always said, that's probably the best part about boot camp is, is the people that come. Uh, the other thing that I really enjoyed was conversations with other people and it's, it's exhilarating to talk to somebody who is as passionate about something that I am. So I go in there and I selfishly kind of recharge my batteries because I'm meeting people who have just now discovered the land investing uh, business model two, three, four months ago, and they are just obsessed with it. And it's cool to sit down and have some of that excitement, you know, rub off on me and, and hear about their wins and give them little tips or, uh, you know, advice on how they can improve and get to where they want to faster. So community, I guess, uh, going along the same line as Mike and everybody else, but that was my big takeaway is I missed everyone. Yeah, no, I, I love it. I love it. It's, it's so true. And um, since we're short on time here, let's just move on to Scott Todd. What was your biggest takeaway? Uh, I mean, like everybody else said, you know, like it's, it's about uh, the connection The you know, we haven't been together in a year. So that was uh, quite interesting to see everybody. And, you know, I, I think that um, when you look at uh, boot camps and how they've changed, you, you know, like Mark, we used to just have a lot of toolkit people in and toolkit people are always welcome to boot camp, Right. But all of a sudden you have a lot of flight school students that go to boot camp. Like it's almost like they go to flight school, then they go to boot camp. And so the the knowledge, as you see the knowledge of the room rise, it's always cool because um, you know, like we used to have to talk about getting the list. Okay. Uh, when was the last time we talked about something so basic, right? Like life has gotten so much easier. Uh, for anybody starting this business, it's really, really cool to see how stuff that we used to have to like talk about a boot camp, we don't even talk about anymore. And that just shows that the, you know, the, the model has evolved. It's gotten better. Um, and the, the, the educational opportunities have just risen to the fact that, you know, people are now walking into boot camp way with way more knowledge than what they had prior to, let's say, flight score or anything else. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely. And my biggest takeaway is, and I agree with everybody, like our community is second to none. It really is. I mean, there's no, there wasn't anyone in that room I wouldn't hang out with if, or, like, or be like annoyed, like the airplane, the airport test. Like if I was stuck in an airport with them all day, I would be just fine hanging out and having conversations. And I had a lot of side conversations um, as well that were, that were really, uh, you know, very just, just fantastic. Like you just learn so much about people in their lives, and um, 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting that age now where I just want three things in life, good food, good conversation, and a good book. That's it. My needs are met. And, uh, for, for sure, boot camp meets all, all my, uh, my needs, uh, in, in doing that. But what really stuck out to me, I think was the fact that, and Mike alluded to it, it'd been a year since we'd all been together and how it's sort of irreplaceable that belly to belly energy of, of talking to somebody and virtual is great. Don't get me wrong, but there's, it misses that magic of being in the room and, um, and just getting to know someone really at a deeper level than you can in any other way than in person. Um, the knowledge was great. I always learned something new at boot camp. One of, one of the things I learned was uh, Ross Trangs brought it up in our in our Facebook module. He's having family and friends do post his ads for him, so he doesn't need to go out and and get separate Facebook accounts. I mean, just a simple little tip was like, oh my gosh, it's kind of brilliant. So, um, but at the end of the day, it's it's just an amazing amazing experience to uh, to be together. Anyways, we're at that point in the podcast now where we're going to ask the technician for his tip of the week, a website, a resource, a book, something that was actionable for the auto passive income listeners to go improve their businesses, improve their lives. However, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor this week, which is Paxlovid to help you get over COVID. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's flight school. Learn how the next 16 weeks can transform your life. Go up the mountain of land investing quickly, safely, efficiently. Scott Todd, who's done it thousands of times as your Sherpa. And oh yeah, that, that flight school tuition ain't going to cost you nothing. Guaranteed, you're going to make it back 180 days or less. Just show us your work. Your next step to make your life so much better. Because once you got that passive income to work when you want, where you want, with whom you want, is simple. Go to landgeek.com forward slash training. Thelandgeek.com forward slash training. All right, Eric Peterson, what is your tip of the week? Yeah, so I can't take full credit on this one. This this book recommendation actually came from a coaching student, but um, I I downloaded it and I've listened to probably half or two thirds of it, and it's it's been a great listen. So I'm gonna share it with the community. It's called Your Next Five Moves, Master the Art of Business Strategy. And um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's been a, an interesting perspective about business, uh, little tips and tricks along the way and uh, motivating your team and, and so on and so forth. Um, I, I think it's a, a solid book if you haven't checked it out. Yeah, That's your vision funny. must align with who you want to be. Your choices must align with your vision. Your effort must align with the size of your vision. Your behavior must align with your values and principles. I like that. It's think funny, Eric. Well, this is the book I boxed you about the other day on Friday, you and Scott. I boxed both of you guys and like, hey, either of you read this book? And uh, it's funny that Eric brings it up. All right, that solidifies it. I'm picking it up. I'm going to do it. All right. And it's so not... So you, you recommend the audio as well that's, as the Kindle. That's what I've been listening to is the, the audible book. Okay. Fantastic. Um, I'm actually, uh, so when I'm editing my book, I always read it aloud. Dirt Ridge 2, the plot thickens. Coming soon. Get excited for the 10 of you that have read Dirt Rich <laughs> and are ten. ready to it's learn how to sell up. your land. You'd be a modest. It'd be a modest. That's like an Amazon bestseller. No, it's it's doing okay. It's doing okay. okay. But I I am excited for Dirt Rich too. All right, um, are we good? Well, I want to I want to thank the listeners. Remind them that the only way that Scott Todd is going to continue taking my grief is if you do three favors: follow, rate, review the podcast, send a screenshot of that review, support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you for free a signed copy of Dirt Rich. And one of these days, a signed copy of Dirt Rich 2. The plot thickens. All right. One, two, three. Let's Let read them. Read them. Read them. Read them. Read them. Thanks, everybody. 
Thanks for listening to the Art of Passive Income podcast. Are you ready to learn how you can start building a passive income without renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents? Schedule a free consultation at thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Let freedom ring.